didn't really want to do really do we really talk about that thing? and it's the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Foundation. I have to be honest, I really wasn't that interested in this foundation. I'm kind of sick of the very full coverage foundations even though I like them. I just felt like they're really not for me and I had no interest in reviewing it at all. But when I was walking by the display in Ulta, I saw a shade close to my skin tone and the cap was open, it looked kind of gross. But I just was, you know, curious, so I put like a tiny, tiny little dab on my wrist. And it looked so matte. So matte. Like, my skin looked smooth. You could not see the cracks or anything on it. I was like, oh my god, I need to try this. And I need to try it right now. So I bought it, I took it home, and I'll be trying it for the first time right now. So, first thing first, it comes in this glass frosted bottle. And it's very hard to pick out my skin tone. With a frosted bottle, I like glass bottles, that's cool and all, but it's kind of hard to see it. Like, it looks nice, but it's not that practical because your skin tone doesn't really show through. It always looks lighter, or they all kind of look the same, but they're completely different shades. I got the shade Light Tan. I don't know if it's actually going to match my face. I never know. I just don't. And it has a pump, which is awesome, and this cost me $10.00. Or $10.99. It says that it's a medium to full coverage foundation, smooth long wear, suede finish. Suede. That sounds really nice. Like really smooth, velvety. I think of a velvet suede. Yeah. HD. It's mattifying, long wearing. Sounds amazing. Especially if you have super oily skin. And as you can see, I have a wonderful breakouts. I tried a McDonald's quarter pounder for the first time and I was like, hmm. This is actually like really good. So I had two of them in the same day for lunch and dinner and then I broke out and then I was like, oh yeah, hmm, that's why I don't really eat burgers. I'm gonna prime my skin with the Forsali Rose Gold, not Rose Gold. <laughs> I'm gonna prime my face with this Unicorn Essence from Forsali because I like it. Oh, please don't drip everywhere. Oh. I'm gonna put some in the back of my hand to see how runny or thick it is. Okay, this is one whole pump. It looks like it would be a really close shade on my hand. And it's pretty thick, like it's not dripping at all. It's not drippy, it's keeping its shape. I'd say that's kind of thick then, but it, I don't know, we'll see. Normally I don't do this, but I'll do one side with a sponge, a beauty blender, and the other side with a brush today, just because I'm feeling crazy. I'm gonna do this side with the beauty blender. And the color match is actually really good. Yes. This is a really good match. Ooh, I'm so proud of myself. You know what? It covered my acne marks really well. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm actually really happy with that. I'm going to put a little bit more on because this is, you know, drying as I apply it, so more of the acne is. It's a hundred percent matte, but it's not clinging to my dry patches, like around the acne, you know, like how there's those dry patches around acne marks. I thought it would be like clinging to that and make it look so gross, but it's not clinging to that. That's awesome. It doesn't have any sort of sheen, and I'm very happy with the finish. It's matte and it looks good. So this is the side with the foundation. This is without. This is one layer except right around the acne and put a little bit more because they're a little red, you know. You know, you know how it goes with acne. Like, it looks really good. It's not oxidizing on me. If it does oxidize though, I'll let you know. acne marks right here too so and down here on my chin thank you quarter pounder this is a morphe g36 brush it is a brand spanking new and huh 
it actually looks better than the beauty blender side which i'm very surprised on i just always feel like the beauty blender gives the smoothest finish whoa whoa it gives better coverage with the brush this brush is really good why did i wait so long to buy it or you know what i had it but i never used it i don't know why it just sat there with plastic wrap on it and i was like yeah i'll use it sometime but whatever the be the beauty blender is the way oh no maybe it's not my foundation is done this side with a brush this side with the beauty blender i did not use a second round anywhere on this side but it looks better on the brush side which i'm i feel like i've been played like this was just sitting there with the plastic wrap and i never use it because a beauty blender beauty blenders know the way but it honestly looks better on this side Maybe it's because this side has more acne, but that's just down here. Okay, so I'm done with my face makeup. I, you know, bronze, ditto, highlighter, blush, lip gloss, eyes, everything else is done. And I do think that I got a little bit darker, just a tiny, tiny bit darker, not much. And I did bake under my eyes. I didn't use a spray or anything, like a long lasting spray, you know, like a, what is it? All Nighter from Urban Decay. I didn't use that and I'm not going to use that. I put some powder on. I'll see if I have to blot throughout the day, how oily I get. I feel like I still look good. I've actually had my makeup on for almost two hours now. I just applied the lip gloss to freshen things up. It's 11 a.m. right now and I can't show you on my phone because I use it to record my voice. So just trust me on that. And tonight I am going to the movies at like 9 p.m. So I'm trying to give it like a nice 12 hours to go and see how it goes. Because it does say that it's long lasting, it's mattifying and everything. And you know what? The Maybelline Super Stay, that's supposed to be 24 hours and it was supposed to be great. And that worked. That didn't work. It was shit. Like it just did not work for me. So I'm trying to see if maybe this one will work because it applied really, really well. So far, so good, but we'll see throughout the day just how good. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. It is 1.53 a.m. The microphone's not on, so it's gonna, this part's gonna sound a little weird. I just wanted to prove that it's actually almost 2 a.m. Hey guys, I'm back. It's almost 2 a.m. as you just saw in the little clip. It's really hard for me to like open my eyes all the way right now because this light seems really bright it's like burning my eyeballs i'm like ready to take all this stuff off and go to bed but i'm not going to bed until i finish this review so online it's $8.99 i definitely bought it for like $9.99 i feel like my ulta it was like nine bucks Anyway, so online $8.99, I feel like I bought it for a dollar more. They have 14 shades, and I use light tan. I feel like it matched me pretty well. It doesn't look matte anymore. However, if I had just blotted throughout the day, it would have looked really good. I just know it. I don't feel like it budged anywhere. Like, normally I get really bad lines right around my mouth, and, you know, like just from talking and everything, like creases. And I don't really have that. That part to me is amazing. Like I don't really have that. I thought the coverage was actually full and it was matte and it did have a really nice soft finish. I was pleasantly surprised that it looked really good with a brush. I'm pretty sure that brush is a lot cheaper than a beauty blender because it's from Morphe. But of course use whatever brush or thing that you like. Hell use your fingers. I don't care. That's kind of gross. But yeah no. Looking at my monitor, I feel like my face looks really good and glowy. I only see shine right here on my nose, which, I mean, I dabbed it with highlighter there anyway. And I see shine right here. Like, my, like, I think it matches my skin. It didn't get any darker. It didn't really oxidize. It just got a tiny, tiny bit darker. Not enough to really call it oxidation. And I just want to put a little bit of powder right on here just to see if it would look good if I had a little bit of powder with me because my pores look big right here and you know what I'll put some here too with that little bit of powder 
I mean, it definitely looks like I have makeup on. This is full coverage, but it looks really good. You know how foundation likes to collect around acne spots like a little circle that's gross or like it kind of goes away where the zit or something is? But I mean, of course you can tell something is there especially because it's raised skin. It looks good though. Like it looks better than a lot of foundations that I've tried. You guys, I think this foundation is definitely gonna get a five out of five for me. I usually hardly ever do that for foundations because there's always some kind of weird problem with it. But wearing it for a full 12 hours and some, this looks really good on. I love it. It Oh yeah, there's like no weird creases around my eyes or like forehead. I mean, I don't really have forehead lines or like deep wrinkles, but like I will get creases right underneath my eyes all the time just from concealer. And it looks so good. Oh my God, girl, you look good. The price is great. It's under 10 bucks. For the price, the quality is really good too. It's not too runny or too thick. It really is like a nice suede finish. It's not quite mousse, but like it doesn't, you saw that it like didn't drip or move, but it wasn't so thick feeling. Like it feels good on my skin. I know that I have foundation on, but it feels good. So the quality is good. It does what it says, 100%. It really does what it says. You can find it at Ulta, so it's easy to find for me. And you can find it at CVS. They also sell LA Girl. I'm just really happy with this foundation. I really am. Overall, like, I'm really happy with it. I wonder if it's gonna be one of my favorite foundations now. It works so good for my super oily skin. I did not blot once today. Not once in over 12 hours. I love it. I mean, you just saw me blot a little bit, but before that, it all looked good. I thought my skin looked really good. So that's it for my review. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. I parted my hair in the middle all day today. That's like super different for me. But I didn't mind it. <laughs> so you guys, the movie that I just came from is Infinity Wars. Have you seen? Have you seen it? I don't even want to say if I loved it or I hated it. I just don't want to give it away. Bruh, that ending. I'm, you know, all I'm going to say is I'm mad as hell. I'm pissed. I am mad as hell. I'm mad as hell. I know. She got me up. Okay, this movie has me up right now. I am so mad.